British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch has fulfilled wedding wishes of every variety. The job of a wedding planner. But this wedding is more like a variety show. We would like to have dancers, singers, comedian. I think it's going to be a circus. And this clueless couple would rather party than plan. So hungover. I'm still drunk. Will Jane be able to tame these party animals? Oh my goodness. Or is this the couple that finally breaks her? I don't know if I can grant this wish. Mike and Tammy met while mixing martinis and pouring pitchers. He was a bartender, I was a waitress. I saw her uh, for that first time and I thought, hmm, this is someone I should uh, meet and get to know. And then it just went from there. And now, 10 years later, their wedding is proving to be a tall order. We don't quite know what we want, but we know we want something. And the big event is in 14 days and I'm starting to worry a lot. Tammy is a triple threat. I'm a dancer, actress, slash model. Translation, she's got a lot of free time to plan this wedding. And Mike has no time, because he has a full-time job and he owns a nightclub. I have my day job, which is a nine to five job. Then we have the nightclub. We're open five nights a week. I work 10 days a week. So you'd think Tammy would be doing most of the work, but she's not. He won't let me just sit and do it on my own because he likes things to be perfect. I just like things to go the way they should go. But things are not going too well at all. We have two magicians. That's it. Planning the wedding for 300 people is not as cinch as I thought it would be. It's going to take a miracle to turn this fiasco into a wedding. I don't even know if it's going to happen. We need some superhero. Is it a bird? A plane? Nope. It's Jane Deus Hinch, British wedding planner extraordinaire, here to grant Tammy and Mike three wishes to save the day. First step, the meeting. I think Jane is going to be um, not happy with us. Mike. That's an understatement. Sunglasses, are we a bit tired? Well, I had my second bachelor party last night. When I met Mike, he was hungover from the night before. That's a great first impression. No more partying, we're into work now. And Jane notices that something is missing from this picture. You're here on your own. Um, where's your fiance? She's on the way. She's on the way. She uh, had her stag at party last night as well. All in all, not really a good day to meet with your wedding planner to get all your plans on track. Are the two of you going to be focused on wedding things today? For sure. How many guests have you got? We've aimed for 250. Yeah. And we're willing to go up to 325. How many people are coming to your wedding? That's where you start from. What's the budget? 45 or 50. $50,000. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Yeah. It had better be right. I hope so. Throwing money at things is the most stupid thing to do. Tell me why you put the call in for me to be here today. Well, as far as the wedding planning so far, I've been doing a lot of it, pretty much most of it. OK, so exactly how much planning has Wonder Mike done? Photographer? Nothing's booked, paid for, or anything like that. Have you got your flowers organized? No. You've got your menu? Dinner. I'm wondering how many things I'm going to check off here and you haven't got. Cake? Cake's done. And will it serve 300 people? We're banking on that. Not everyone's going to have some cake. Have you got an MC? I do have an MC, yeah. And has he done a wedding before? He has not. What sort of entertainment are you having? They have a gorgeous baby grand piano, so we're trying to find a pianist for that. We have a couple of uh, magicians, a couple of musical numbers. Mike was busy doing the wrong things. We have our DJ booth up there. Have you paid a deposit? With the DJ? Yeah. No. No contracts, no deposits. Why did they assume that people would turn up? But who finally does turn up? 
the bride-to-be graces them with her boozy presence. I hear you were partying last night. I'm still drunk. Jane's reaction, she wasn't impressed. I think they both just wanted to go for a nap. The main problems with this wedding, well, are the two people that are getting married. So Jane gives this drowsy duo a wake-up call. There's no deposits paid, there's no contracts. There is so much to do. You've got to come on board, because otherwise, this wedding date is going to be here, and you're not going to be ready for it. Well, hopefully, Jane is ready, because she and the couple are off to check out the church. And it only gets worse. Is there another wedding on the day? What time? We've got to know what they've got mm -hmm. to get out. They've got a keyboard, a harpist, and a singer. What do you have? Nothing. Who is giving out your programs? We don't have anyone yet. What music are you walking down to? <laughs> Why did I know that? There is so much to do on this wedding. You want a fairy tale wedding? This isn't a fairy tale wedding at all. In fact, this is your horror story. Yeah, that was fairly, fairly intense. If he thinks that was intense, wait until he sees the plan. There's only 22 lines. How do I fit all that into this? I don't think they appreciate just how much there is to do. I bet they haven't thought of that one. Who's never done a wedding before? Look at all of this. <sighs> and while Jane works on the plan, Mike and Tammy try to confirm their photographer that they kinda, sorta booked. We just needed to fork over some cash and sign a contract. But they didn't, so they lost him. He had already gone out and booked two other weddings. Well done. So no deposit plus no contract equals no photographer. More good news for Jane. Here I go to save another wedding. Jane meets with Mike and Tammy again to present the plan. Everybody awake? Starting at the top, we have the church. With the rings, the music, the reading and the vows, you need a meeting with your minister. We didn't book the rehearsal time, right? No. They just don't get it. You DJ? You need to give him a playlist. If that all goes wrong, that's your street cred out the window. That really hit home with me. What happens when Mike's buddies from the nightclub turn up and they're expecting a fabulous DJ and he's got somebody from a kid's party? For some reason, I don't know why, but we always just put that on the back burner. Your MC, this is the guy who's gonna bring it all together and it's showtime. Who's done? Oh, been to one wedding. You would like a piano player. I suggest you book one. Florist? Without the flowers, it, it's dull. You need some color. Dull? Now, Tammy wouldn't know anything about that. What was Tammy's reaction all day? We have to get Tammy on board here. It's your wedding, too. Jane was uh, tough on me because Mike's been doing too much. I'm hard. I know I'm hard. She's unbelievable. Tammy is looking a little uh, panicked and worried. How can he tell? Because Tammy looks the same when she's happy and joyous and scared and horrified. What sort of actress is she? Perhaps she does silent movies. <laughs> there is no time for any more parties. As you can see, there is so much to do. I'm your fairy godmother. I can grant you three wishes. This might be the right time for Mike to tell Jane that their photographer has bailed. We thought we had a lock on a photographer. He booked two other weddings. We don't pay a deposit, no contracts, so and now they lost their photographer. Well, if you could help us out with that. The good photographers get booked two, three years in advance, not two to three weeks in advance. So Jane has been dealt her first wish and immediately sets up appointments with three photographers. Perfect. Appointments for her and Tammy and Mike. But Mike can't make it. Do they care? Do they really care? So Tammy's on her own. Now's her chance to pull up her socks. We offer two styles of albums. This is one, it's called the Queensberry. Yeah. And this is the other, which is the art leather. Am I good at making decisions? No. Tammy, do you like this? Tammy doesn't know, so she calls Mike to see if she likes it. Yeah. All right, thanks. 
Mike tells Tammy no, she doesn't like it. How can you describe photographs over the phone? We have to book a photographer. So, on to option number two. I am one of 15 photographers here. Uh, we work in the style of photojournalism. We do do portraits, of course. The minimum package is $1,000. We're fully digital now. So we don't have negatives anymore. And do you provide the negatives? Jane's not too impressed with Tammy's listening skills. Knock, knock, knock. Anybody at home? At times I wanted to go, are you awake? Decisions need to be made. Time is ticking. Can she do it? Can she? No, she can't. So I think I'll go back and discuss with Mike and see what he thinks is best for us. So, Stepford wife Tammy finally grabs Mike for the third appointment. And Jane is not impressed. She looks at Mike for complete guidance. You know the hand puppet ones? What do you think, Tammy? Is it two camera operation or one? We do have the option for two photographers. Both Simon and I are available for the event. By looking at some of the work, especially the work on the walls, you can realize how creative we are. Then from here to your wedding date, we're available to talk about your ideas. Are you impressed? Thanks, yeah. yeah. So it's decision time, guys. We're very impressed with it, and it is the style that we are looking for. So Jane has found them the photographer of their dreams, but they still won't sign a contract. We'll uh, be having some more discussions and uh, go from there. How much more do you want? Is it in the budget? Yes. Are you available? Yes. We'll book them then. But they can't make a decision, so they move on to finding a florist. Why am I the one looking for flowers? Because you're the one that has the budget. You won't give me any money. No, I'll pick them. You tell me what I can spend. The budget is something I have no idea about. <laughs> That's Mike. <laughs> Here, call it this one. This could be a breakthrough. Mike lets Tammy make a call all by herself. Who's a big girl? OK. I can't do it. Crushed by failure and visibly distraught, Tammy gives up. Hi, Jane. We seriously need your help. You want me to get the florist? And that's your wish. So the next day, Jane goes to the florist, and Tammy, once again, is flying solo. Mike was working. So it's up to Tammy to make the decision. But guess what? That doesn't happen. Tammy, you're a bride. These are flowers for your wedding. Hello? Tammy can't book the florist without permission from Mike. Tammy doesn't do anything without Mike's say-so. What a waste of time that was. But Jane doesn't know how much of a waste until Mike calls her the next day. Listen, I know you met with the florist the other day. I don't know, before we signed the dotted line, I was hoping you could uh, set up another meeting with him and try to chat. This is ridiculous now. Mike, let's get this contract signed and done. Otherwise, you're going to lose the florist and the photographer, and we'll be back to square one. And now? Jane's having deja vu as she waits for the couple to meet her at the florist for the second time. And they're late. We need to get this done and get this finalized. All Mike has to do is show up and approve the centerpieces that Tammy has picked out. I just didn't envision it like that. <laughs> well, that's not how you explained it. Mike just wants the final say, and it's getting very annoying. So? Jane stands up for Tammy. It's not a guy thing, it's the bride's thing, with her wedding planner and professional florist. So I'll give her the pen. Maybe now Mike should buy Tammy a nice bouquet of flowers to apologize, and me. So now that Jane has Mike just where she wants him. What about the photographer? We're now gonna go and see Simon and we're now gonna finalize this contract, we're gonna sign on that dotted line. But Mike is still hesitant. Sign it, sign, put that pen to the paper. Jane's pleas finally hit home, and Mike signs on the dotted line. The contract is signed, the deposit is paid, Thank goodness for that. Is that your wish granted? We're very happy with the outcome of the wish. So that's two wishes, done. But now's the time for the couple to get something done. 
first, Tammy needs a tiara. And breaking news. I don't know what to do. Tammy can't make a decision. All right. Tiara not solved. Oh for one, time to move on. Next stop, pick up the rings. But there's a problem. Uh-oh. That's a little tight. It's perfect for my pinky. We're getting married in a matter of days. No, we'll deliver them to the church. Mike and Tammy better keep their chubby little fingers crossed and hope the rings make it in time. Tammy now needs to meet her bridesmaids for a dress fitting. And like everything else, the dresses are not working out. Who nah. sells a dress on the outside? Problem with Nurse's dress. What's wrong? She has lumpy boobs. So now what? We're gonna try and take it in again on the side, but it's not gonna look as good as the other girls. All in all, not a productive day. We kind of struck out. And now it's the day before the wedding, and Jane has invited herself to the rehearsal. I wanted to see just what was going to go wrong. But before the rehearsal can even start, Tammy's piano player gives her a call. Are you serious? OK. Um, it's the day before the wedding, right? And that's it. We're just. They're just gonna leave us high and dry, just like that. Oh, what are you gonna do? If you conduct your business like that, then that's fine. All right, bye. Jane, Jane. just got a phone call from the piano player, and they've just canceled the day before the wedding. And Jane asked the question to which she already knows the answer. Did you have a contract with him? No. No matter how much I try and solve this contract issue, it still keeps coming back to bite me. Not Mike and Tammy, me. So the third wish is that you want me to get a piano player for tomorrow? If you could, yeah. Goodness me. I wouldn't want it to be us looking for a piano player the day before our wedding. So what did Tammy and Mike do with their problem? They gave it to me to be my problem. So Jane opens up her little black book and starts calling. Hi, Sam. Hi, it's Jane. Hello, Andrea. Hello, is Herman there, please? British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch has received an urgent wedding SOS from Mike and Tammy. They waited 10 years to get married, and their commitment issues continue with this wedding. No contracts, no deposits. Why did they assume that people would turn up? Vendors have been canceling all over the place, and it's been left to their fairy godmother, Jane, to pick up the pieces by granting them three wishes. For their first wish, Jane found them a photographer. And then they asked Jane for some pretty flowers. Now it's the wedding day, and everyone, including Jane, is anxious to see if the third wish will come true. I'm sure the piano player's going to turn up. He's never let me down before, but there's always a first time. Back at Tammy's father's house, the problems have just begun. Our uh, makeup artist canceled on us. Once again, no contract, no deposit, no vendor. And this time, no wishes left. At least the photographer from their first wish is there. But over at the groom's parents' house, the picture taking is delayed because Mike isn't there. There he is. Well, you're all dressed already. Are we supposed to be uh, dressed up, ready to go at 11 o'clock? Feeling a little nauseous. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's drinking. But a little hair of the dog gives him the jolt he needs. And when the boys arrive at the church, Jane is already there, ready to give them the once-over. Now, you see this hands in pockets? We're not doing this our way today. No, no, no. no. Then she moves inside to check on the flowers from wish number two. Beautiful. Well, those are exactly the color that she wanted. Great. So Jane has wish one and two under control, but isn't so confident about wish number three. My piano player, I've left a message with his wife and she assures me that he's going to show up at the venue. But before they get to the reception, there's the little matter of the ceremony. But wait, what's that on Tammy's face? Could it be emotion? Did you see that smile? It was great. I'm Michael. 
take you, Tamara, to be my wife. In six minutes and in hell, I will love and honor you. And thankfully, the rings do make it to the church. Wasn't that the most beautiful service? <laughs> I'm off now to the reception, and I hope now the piano player shows up. If he doesn't, no, we won't think about that. But when Jane arrives at the reception hall, she has no choice but to think about it. The guests are due any moment. We have piano, we have no piano player. I hope it turns up. But that's not the only problem. There's no table plan. All the candles have got to be lit, and the MC is not here yet. The chaos has Jane running around in circles. Who's supposed to have the seating plan? Do you notice there's a table plan, a seating plan? You haven't got the seating plan with you, have you? What a mess. Can you find out who's lighting the candles? I am panicked. Where is the MC? Are you the DJ? No, I'm the technical supervisor. Oh, OK. Right. And the DJ's here, making his presence known. And much to Jane's relief, so is the piano player. You're here! Oh, my goodness! Now, I'd like you to play like you've never played before. It might sound like I have never played before. <laughs> Music maestro, please. That was the third wish waiting to come true. And not a moment too soon, because the guests have arrived and they're lining up for their shooter and meat. Oh, Once you've had your shot, you're then offered meatballs on cocktail sticks. They were meat trees. And speaking of meatballs... This is the MC. The MC? What a panic. What time did we ask the MC to be here? You had oh, am I late? He was so late. He turned up with bits of paper going, what am I supposed to do? So who's going to be in order? Who's going to organize them? I'm going to organize them? Hello, you're the MC. Come with me. All right. And now, the Mike and Tammy Sideshow Circus Fun Time Hour begins. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Please Stand Up. Tammy and Mike's wedding day, absolutely fabulous. And it was because I was a part of it. The wish for the photographer was awesome. Jane definitely saved us with the florist. Amazing. Our last wish was the piano player. Who also was amazing. I also want to thank uh, Jane. She's our celebrity wedding planner. When I first met Mike, Mike was in charge of everything to do with the wedding. I was in such a panic. There was so much to do. Tammy, very much a back seat. And look at them now. We love you, We love you, Jane. Jane. <laughs> what can I say? And that's a wrap. <laughs> we still don't have our penis. <laughs> so what happened to your penis? We canceled on us. You need that tonight. I know. Like you wouldn't believe. I don't know. 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 <laughs>